and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Frostbite Fiora. This is a, a deck that I've played some, some different variants of uh, before. This specific list was one from uh, decksofruntera.com that somebody posted on there saying they were in top 100 master EU. Um, but it was something that that uh, something that caught my eye was playing this kind of um, Frostbite Challenger deck, but with Relentless Pursuit. This is uh, something different. Like I, I did not. This was something I did not have. And so there's three Relentless Pursuits in here. So I wonder how good that's going to be. Extra attack steps is exactly what Fiora wants and exactly what Ash wants. So it makes sense um, from a um, strategic standpoint to have Relentless Pursuit in here, so you can get more attacks. For both of our champions uh, we're also going with four babbling bjergs that always draw ash ash is the only unit with five plus power so it's four mana three three draw an ash is a card that that seems like it's pretty valuable so um i'm not sure if i was playing all those babbling bjergs either um it's, it's a little odd to see only two war chefs but um you know i want to go with the list how it is um uh, instinctively, I would want to put in the third War Chefs and only play two Relentless Pursuits. But we're going to run it as is, um, get our Brittle Steels, Elixir of Irons, all those kind of good tricks. Let's go. Fiora Ash. So call this one Frostbite Fiora. That's what it's labeled as. I've, I've kind of called this deck Frozen Challengers in the past, but um, Frostbite Fiora sounds really cool too. So I'll just go with it. All right, we're going to be playing five games over in ranked. And we'll see how we do. Hey, it looks like we're starting our first game against Ender Spiders. The deck that we just went 5-0 with, so we know it's certainly a good deck. Don't think we need the repost. We'll keep the others. I do like attacking on turn two. Be able to play the protector on turn two, give the tracker a barrier, and swing in with both of them. And then uh, turn three, it looks like we just won't do anything. Obviously, this may change. That egg. Did it move? But then turn four, have Ash attack, and then rally, here. attack again. All right, we'll save the protector because giving a barrier to this <clears throat> or giving a plus one plus one with war chefs is really the same thing. So we can save the protector to have better use later on. I enjoy the type of deck that we're we're playing right now. I like uh, the challenger mechanic. Um, and then, yeah, like the Frost, you know, a lot of combat tricks. Good mid-range deck, lots of combat tricks. I, I enjoy this kind of deck. Man, this would be a good time to have Fiora. And Judgment. But definitely Fiora. I know what lurks in the shadow. Hmm. Bad time to see Elise. Yeah, pretty bad time to see Elise. Um, Not and ready. All right, so plans change. So we're gonna play the Ice Veil Archer. <clears throat> So that I can single combat the archer and kill Elise this next turn. Can you stomach this? You dare. I of course can use Bright Steel Protector as Let well. Me more. I don't know what that, that attack was all about.
Oh, I guess I, I get to challenge her and kill Elise that way, don't I? Head to the base. Eat up, friend. <laughs> Maybe I could have just saved all three of my mana. Get Ash in play. We have this rally to use. Oh, uh, Yora. Save your world. We speak with blades. All right, Thresh is going to be killing something. Could use Bright Seal Protector. Oh no, Thresh is not killing nothing. Never mind. Basically, they can have Vile Offering, but if they don't have Vile Offering, this is pretty nice for us. Alright, no Vile Offering. That's good. Need to frostbite a few more things, I suppose. Swiftly now, trudge. All right, so I can use um, single combat to have Fiora fight the O3. Just barrier just to be safe. Just to be super safe. To be as safe as I can at least. Alright, that happens. Other option was to play Bjerg and draw Ash instead of doing that, but I think that's fine. Remember, Ash is going to be able to give these things zero power, then Fiora can challenge them. So, like, that Relentless Pursuit was very good. We had earlier another one. Drawing another one would be really good as well. So yeah, that was an impressive relentless pursuit. And another one would be exactly what we'd want to draw. So that's that's the that's relentless pursuit though, right? Like whenever you're ahead or even, it's pretty good, especially ahead. Um Flash freeze, I feel like. The time is right. Strike now. He 
feel like we want that. No backing down. So Ash says those things can't block. You have to get down here. Like things with zero power, that is. Okay. Um, we can prob. Let's see. How can we win this? I guess, I guess the best thing to do is to just to frostbite that, and then we can try to set up Brittle Steel with this, or the Bright Steel Protector. No. I don't like that. Alright, well I can't save, I can't save Fiora now, but we can get rid of that They Who Endure, at least. Oh, come on, another one? Well, now they can win if they have Atrocity. They had to have, like, they had two cards, plus, like, the card they drew, so, like, three total cards. And they had, they had to have another They Who Endure and an Atrocity. And unfortunately, they did. Well, they had the they who endured, and now I'm just... Just gotta hope they don't have the atrocity. Got your back. It's basically that. Like, you know, we're attacking and killing them, so it's... They have atrocity. They win. If they don't, I win. That's a good sign. Crystalero. Boo. Oh, cheesed out of the game. I thought we were winning this. The double vile feast. That hurt is like the way to that killed my Fiora. That really hurt. Alright, Karma Lux. Like this. It's possible, like, you know, you would think that Karma Lux would just be a, you know, really spell heavy deck, like where uh, some of these things aren't, like, some of our cards aren't as good. But these days, a lot of, a lot of Lux decks are playing Mage Seekers and, you know, playing a decent amount of units. So we could have, like, some Frostbite and Challenger stuff still be pretty useful. Yeah, Atrocity is cheap. Right? Like, that was... That was mean. Always two steps ahead. I walk my path alone. I will put you down. Half standalone. 
I'm gonna try this. I mean, they could. I don't think they'll have standalone, but they could. They could twin disciplines. They can barrier. I think that's worth trying. So these elusive units will be killing us pretty quickly, and we kind of need to stop that from happening. Swiftly now, for the honor of Hulkrime. It's too late for you. Let's go, champions. Hmm. Alright, so we'll trade a Twin Disciplines for a Repost. Overall, pretty good trade. One good thing about their deck is they're not good at doing ancient things trapped in the ice. They're not good at dealing um like one damage to units. Rhyme Thing Wolf can be awesome. The time is right. Strike now. All right, so the Better. the barrier doesn't do anything, but like itself against Rhyme Thing Wolf. But what the barrier does is it levels up Lux, gives Lux that one power for leveling up, and also gives them the final spark now. And therefore we have to use the Harsh Winds to get Lux out of here. Unfortunately, they're going to be coming close, to, pretty close to burning me out. Down to seven. Big attack for two elusive. Not sure why they're playing that first. They cannot hide. Guess they want to trade with my babbling beard right now. I suppose. They probably have another remembrance. I could see that. I could see them having another remembrance. These two battling Bjorks have been very clutch, getting us the extra, getting us these extra ashes. So yeah, they do have a remembrance. They want to find the life gain. They did not hit it. It didn't matter if they did, because we have ash. Um. Hmm. Show me a 
target. Will of Ionia is the card they can currently use to save themselves. They need two. They need Will, Bounce Ash, We Fiora, we, or We Repost this. They have another Will, Bounce that. Do your worst. Oh, or they do Never that. Feel. That's possible. Do your worst. Two, I suppose. Since they did both of these first before we played a repost. As I expected. We have to double repost. See, they had a, a ton of creatures. All that frostbite was very necessary. Alright, that was a good game. That was a good one. As a real Draven. Draven Control. Alright, we're not playing Harsh Winds, and we're not playing Rally. I'll keep the Bjerg. Ugh, I really want to draw a cheaper threat. Man, redraw two Harsh Winds? Brittle Steel, like this is this is a matchup where Harsh Winds and Brittle Steel are pretty bad. So this was this was a really rough mulligan for us. Just happens sometimes, I guess. Well, maybe maybe we'll get lucky. What is this? Urchin discard might. Those are not cards you usually see in Draven Ezreal. Oh, it's a Draven Jinx. Oh, this, I just had the wrong. I just had the wrong. My first big mission. Oh no. Yeah, I had this all wrong. I, I oh man, and then it's time mulligan wrong. Um, I don't know, our mulligan wasn't too bad anyway. But still. We, we just drew these things anyway. But I would have I would have shipped to the babbling beard also, honestly. I would have mulliganed everything. Yeah, this hand is awful. You're a... Yeah. Got a Brittle Steel to save two life, but Brittle Steel's got to be better than just save two life, right? I don't know, maybe it's not. Time for the main event. Considering the mana we would have spent at the time as well. Very, very bad. Anything else? <laughs> Time for the money makers. That hurts. I don't really see any out to this game. We're not winning this. As the arrow flies. Even go. The answer is yes, somewhere. 
it's hard to think of even like think of the scenario of like us winning how it could even play out Backfired. no now it's definitely over All right, sometimes you just get a horrible mulligan that doesn't do anything. Ugh. They picked like the worst cards for us to draw. Um, our two most expensive cards with Babbling Bjerg and Harsh Winds. Just draw multiple of both of those. Rally that doesn't do anything. And then a Brittle Steel. <laughs> That was horrible. No, Augmented Experimenter is still the same as it always has been. Oh, no, it's still... Okay, no, it draws. If the burn target dies, it still draws. It still does the other part. That's real karma. Mulligan all these three. Yeah, this is better. We actually have things to play. Well, we can't do that. Spikes are cooking. You name it, I'll make it. These are just going to trade anyway, like, I don't think there's any use waiting for them to attack and then trade. actually pretty good. I think it only cost one mana. I don't know, they must have had a, they probably had a spell mana banked. Basically, I think it's a little easier to kill Rhymefang Wolf than Fiora, because Rhymefang Wolf dies to Mystic Shot. And so I want to... So therefore, I'm going to challenge with Fiora. So if, if their card in hand is Mystic Shot, that they can't just kill my Rhymefang Wolf and keep their 4-3 alive. Unfortunately, it was get excited. Protect our floor. Discard Shadow Assassin. Karma. So they have six mana. Oh, 
Okay. That's interesting. Oh, it doesn't have Challenger. Right. Gotta play another thing for that to have Challenger. I don't know I don't know why they didn't just block the war chefs and take three instead of taking two. I just don't know. Elixir of Iron, why could have had you last turn? You would have been a lot better. Winds or Repost. So both Harsh Winds or Repost can kind of get blown out by um, a damage base spell, but I think this one's safer because we have the Elixir of Iron to, to protect. Away death mark and another solitary monk. So that's why they sacrificed their other solitary monk because they had a, a new one that they wanted to play. All right, this could be a good rally. Again. This will be six, then seven as far as damage goes. They're out of mana. So this is just game. They can't play anything else. GG's. Two and two. Rally looks pretty good. There's, you know, there's times where it's been a dead card. Like, 
the previous game and that game all, all the way up until that last turn. But it's been pretty good. I mean, that, that game, it helped us hit for lethal when we would not have otherwise. And who knows? Like, they had a lot of cards in hand. They may have just killed our two things and not grinded us. Like, that, that rally could have definitely won us that game. GG's. All right, send back the six mana cards. It's a good rule of thumb for mulliganing. Send back the six mana cards. Pursuit feels really good in Ez Karma. Oh, like like against Ez Karma. Yeah, like against Ez Karma definitely feels good. They're just trying their best to stabilize, and we say nope, no stabilizing, no thank you. Um, barrier or archer? A true Felgorian welcome. Still got five damage across. Traded two for one. Traded our one drop, our Fleet Feather Tracker, for their Whirling Death and their Omen Hawk. Faster than my arrow? I think I not. These biggest doomstone. Remember why we fight. Um. It's a fight they want. Ooh, that rally could be good. All the world on one arrow. That rally could be good. turn you know we can play like the ice bill archer and rally swiftly now show me a target Rally with Ash is pretty sweet. Get more Ash triggers. The time is right. Strike now. Feel the 
We're not going to challenge anything, they can't block. <clears throat> so we'll put them down to one, and then we get to just untap and attack immediately. Get out ahead like that. You know, we had we had a, just a really good hand. Like that that was a really good hand. You know, we had good one drops, two drops. Um, you know, we got to get out ahead and then rally. Um, yeah, that's that's that was a much better hand. Um, so we we went three and two, but honestly, one of our losses can just be thrown out the door. We had we had one loss that was just incredibly bad. Where after we you know mulliganed all but one card, and then we had two Bjergs, two Harsh Winds, um, a Relentless Pursuit, and a Brittle Steel. Like, those are our first six cards. It's like, we you just can't even, you don't even get to play the game with that. And so, you can basically, you know, you, you really can just throw that game out, out of the window. Like, that was, that wasn't much of a game. So, went three and one otherwise. Um... But yeah, I liked I liked the Relentless Pursuits. I think that that's a good addition to this deck. I loved Babbling Bjerg, draw you know being a way to always draw Ash. That was really nice because even when you have one Ash in play, um, drawing another one is good because Ash Ash is the kind of card that is a really good one to have in multiples. Because when you have an Ash in play, you want Flash Freeze in your hand. Like that's just a card that you want in your hand in basically every game you have Ash in play. And so uh, drawing multiples was nice. Um, I do wish we could find another room for another War Chefs. Did definitely seem like that. Uh, but <clears throat> it would maybe be over a Relentless Pursuit. But yeah, I'd like to say the Relentless Pursuit was good. Overall, deck, deck played very well. All right, but those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave a comment. You know, you can let me know what you think of the upcoming release. Uh, you know, this deck, any other deck, anything like that. And if you want to see your deck played on stream and also made for a YouTube video, it's a $10 donation. Donation link is uh, in the video description. Just send me your deck code or your deck idea, what, what you want me to play. All right, but that's it here for Frostbite Fiora. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.